everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to our morning routine if this is your first time here then i am ailey this is marcus he's one and this is oliver and he's three and i'm going to be showing you a typical morning for us i am a stay at home slash work from home mum and oliver does go to nursery in the afternoons so we always like to try and get out and do something in the morning we get cabin fever very very early if we don't so our day starts at about six in the morning whoever wakes up first will just come into our bed and then we all hang out there for five or ten minutes before we head downstairs i feel like we just need a few minutes to wake up before we can move <laughs> so that's us just heading downstairs and my husband andy is coming down to get ready for work <laughs> So the first thing we do is get our breakfast and both boys have been loving Weetabix recently. Such a simple breakfast but they both wolf it down so I usually give two Weetabix to Oliver and Marcus just has one and we just use blue milk and put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and it makes it like a nice little porridge for them and they both absolutely love it. So our mornings don't always run really smoothly and on this day Oliver wasn't happy about either his spoon or his bowl and we were in a bit of a standoff but Marcus was still eating his Weetabix and we were just waiting for Oliver to come round and eat his breakfast. Look at this face that Marcus pulls because Oliver wasn't happy but he did come round and he ate his breakfast which always happens eventually. And after a quick clean up, Marcus is allowed to go free and play. So now the boys are fed and quite happily playing, I am just going to get my own breakfast sorted. I always start the day with a cup of tea, it has to be Scottish blend, I absolutely love that tea. And I'm making myself two slices of toast with cashew butter, which is a new favourite of mine. And then it's time to say bye bye to daddy. He is off to work, so it's just us for the rest of the day. Oliver always gives a big emotional hug and then watches him leave from the door. It's just the cutest thing ever. So my luck wasn't in today and I didn't get to eat my breakfast on my own because the boys spotted it. Sometimes I can sit here and eat a bit of toast and drink my tea on the couch and I'm absolutely fine. But today they just wanted it. So we actually all ended up back at the table and they both had a bit of my toast which is fine because you just have to share when you have two little kids running about look at them smiling at each other like their plan worked <laughs> and Oliver is just playing with his little number game. He actually got this for Christmas and plays with it all the time. I'll leave the link below if I can find it. So by now it's about quarter to seven and we're just gonna spend some time playing and having fun because that's the beauty of getting up at six o'clock. You really get such a long morning and it doesn't feel like it's too late by the time you're dressed and ready to go out. So yeah, we're just making the most of it and playing with this little game and look how excited Marcus gets, it's so cute. So in the mornings I will always try and get some of our washing done. So we've had this washing over the radiator overnight so I'm just going to fold it all and get ready to put it away when we go back upstairs. We have got so much washing to get through at the moment because our washing machine was broken last week so we're doing a bit of a catch up at the moment. 
So this washing has just come out of the washing machine. We usually set a timer for 6am and have a washing load ready to go first thing in the morning, which is really good because I can never remember to do it as soon as I get up. But once the washing has finished, then I can just hang it up and it's one thing ticked off the list first thing in the morning. So from the dry washing pile I have managed to put together their outfits for today so I'm just going to get them dressed downstairs and then we will head up so I can get ready too. So Oliver and Marcus love playing in Marcus's cot together, I don't know what it is, they just seem to really enjoy it and it makes things a lot easier for me to get things done as well in the morning. So I'm putting them in there with their toys and they are hanging out while I do some jobs. So this is when I would normally make the bed but today I am actually stripping Oliver's bed linen so I'm doing that really quickly and I will put that in the wash in a sec. And I'm also just going to put away those clothes that I folded downstairs. I find if you do it straight away, it really, really makes a big difference. I hate when I've let it build up and it just becomes such a big task that always gets put off. It's now about half past eight and Marcus is ready for a bottle and a nap. He actually doesn't nap every day anymore but he's definitely tired this morning so I'm just going to give him his milk and send him off to sleep. So this is where a timer kind of sets off in my head. I have about half an hour max to get ready, usually about 20 minutes. So I'm going to jump in the shower really, really quick, like the quickest shower you can imagine. Oliver is still playing with his little puzzle, so I'm just brushing my teeth and getting myself dressed. And I'm going to put on some makeup. My makeup during the week when it's just us is very, very simple. I really just try and make sure that my skin looks okay. Um, so does Oliver, as you can see. <laughs> he actually loves to sit with me in the morning and put on a little bit of makeup. Um, so yeah, what I'd really do is just put on quite a lot of moisturizer and I will use a bit of concealer. I've actually had quite a lot of breakouts recently, so I'm just sorting my skin out. Um, so I'm putting concealer on and I'm also just using the It Cosmetics CC cream all over and a bit of Estee Lauder Double Wear light concealer under my eyes. And then I'm just bronzing my face up because I'm very pasty at the moment um, and Oliver was wanting a shot of the bronzer as well. And I'm just going to put on some colour on my cheeks. This is the Urban Decay, I can't remember the name of this colour actually. Um, but it's when I wear it every day and I'm just doing my eyebrows and that is it. I'm no beauty guru as you can tell. I really just stick to minimal makeup. I have false eyelashes, um, individual lashes that are always on there so I don't need to worry about mascara or anything um, and that is a massive thing for me um, for getting ready in the morning. I love having my fake eyelashes. I think it makes things a lot easier um, and I'm just using my DHD curve here to put some more waves in my hair and just bring it back because I had properly curled it yesterday and that is me almost ready. I think it did take me about 20 minutes um, to do all of this. I think if you do the same thing every single morning then you just become really really fast at it. So we are just watching the storm from our, my window. This is Storm Kira and it has been lightning and snow and everything today. So I'm now just rushing to get my bed made before Marcus wakes up. He'll normally have about half an hour to 45 minutes of a nap in the morning, so I need to be as productive as possible in that time. 
but I also have to accept that with a three-year-old my bed is never going to be perfect sometimes I have to make it with him inside it <laughs> And that is me already. This jumper is from and other stories via ASOS. I'll leave the link below if I can find it. And that is just on time because Marcus is now shouting on us. So we're going to go and get him open the blinds and get ready. This is why I like to get him dressed um, and ready to go so that once he's woke up from his nap, we're more or less ready to leave. So it's about nine o'clock now and the kids are looking for a wee snack so I'm giving them some of these organics Oaty bars they both really really like them I get them from Lidl and they're a good little snack for the morning um, and they're both just having a little drink before we head out and while they're doing that I am just going to check and make sure all the dishes are up to date I have a few to put away from last night and I have to just do our breakfast dishes as well especially since it's sweet bix because you cannot leave that in the sink and that is us ready to go i am just packing our bag and making sure that we've got all the things that we'll need for the morning and i'm also going to take out that washing and hang it up before we go and that is us because the boys are going straight into their car seats i don't have to put their jackets on them we literally just lift them from the door to the car with their hats on um, and then we obviously put their jacket on when we're ready to go so that makes things a bit easier and here we are ready to go and ready for the day i really hope you've enjoyed watching see you later